In the previous videos for this lab, we've showed you how to navigate the on-the-fly projection and the map projections. And these are all temporary projections that take data that are in one coordinate system and temporarily project them into another coordinate system to display them on a map. Now we're going to show you how to do a permanent projection. So it takes data, reprojects it to a new coordinate system, and saves a new data file. And we use the project tool to do that. We ask you to create three maps. I have them here at Albers, and Mercator, and a UTM. I'll just show you the projection tool once, but you'll have to project data into all of these. So uh, you'll take some Min County DD decimal degrees data, geographic coordinate system, and project it into the Albers, and then do the same thing to a UTM and to a Mercator. We'll just show you how to use the tool once. Now, there's lots of tools we'll be learning. We find them through the toolbox. So I click on this Analysis tab, and then on this Tools tab, and it lists a new geoprocessing panel here on the right. So I have the old catalog panel and symbology and elements, but now I have this geoprocessing panel. And in that geoprocessing panel, there's a pile of toolboxes here that we'll be going through pretty much for the rest of the semester. Right now, we're interested in the data management tools here, so I'll click on this one. Because down in there, there is a projections and transformations and a project tool. Now, I make a big deal about the difference between a project tool and a defined projection tool. They're easy to get confused because the names are too close and you naturally think after working on something else for a while and coming back in three weeks to define the projection. That might mean you want to create a new data layer in that new projection, but that isn't what the defined projection does. You usually don't want to use this tool unless there's some kind of mistake somewhere. It's the project tool that's the bread and butter tool, the one you'll use to reproject data. So if I double left click on the project tool in the window here on the side, it will generate a set of parameters I need to enter an input data set, an output data set and the output coordinate system. And I may or may not have to provide a geographic transformation or a datum transformation, as it's more commonly called and named in the textbook. So my input data set here is going to be, in this case, for my data, which I've stored on the desktop in lab two, this Minnesota County decimal degrees coordinate system in that geographic coordinate system. Now it already knows the input, and now it wants the output name, and I'm gonna call this min count, but instead of DD project, I'm going to call it UTM. All right, actually, I should call this Albers because I'm working in the Albers. And so now I have to specify the output coordinate system. And if I click on this little globe, it says select the coordinate system, I'll get that same window that I've got before when I was doing on the fly projection. But again, this is for a permanent projection. So I'll click in this coordinate system and I can go ahead and get a continental system and then North American and my contiguous um, USA Albers. I'll click on the 83 and say OK. And it then substitutes or identifies this uh, geographic transformation or data transformation for me that's actually the correct one. So I'll accept that and click Run down in the bottom, and it shows that it's running while it's going, initializing, updating, the run successful, and it loads then the data into my Albers map that was active, projected. And if I look here then at this Albers data, I can go ahead and look at the Min County Albers. I'll go get its properties again. That's off the map. You can't see. And looking down, it says the spatial reference is, in fact, this NAD83 contiguous Albers. So I've taken these data, all right, and I've projected them from the Minnesota decimal degrees coordinate system to this Albers coordinate system here. So you've just created a new data set. We'll zoom to the layer here to show it. It's the Albers data set, Min County Albers. You've taken the input Min County DD and projected it to a new file that you created that has the Min County Albers coordinate system. And you get this little triangle after 
the tool runs, which says, oh, you can't rename into this Min County Albers, it just set up for running again. So you could ignore that triangle after the fact once you verified. And if you're going to reproject to a different coordinate system, then you'd change the name corresponding to that coordinate system. So there you have it.